Martin Racing Performance, the most advanced parts on the planet. Oh yeah. We get a lot of phone calls here at the office about the TGB lineup, Taiwan Golden B. It's one of uh, Taiwan's, I think it's their third or fourth largest manufacturer. They make a lot of CVTs and transmission parts for Piaggio. And a lot of people like the Laser, the 303, so we decided to upgrade one. We put the 72cc kit on it, we pull a whole bunch of parts, and we want to show you uh, the process we go through when we're customizing or tuning a bike. Let's take a look. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the TGB 70cc race upgrade that we've done with Polini and Melosi. This bike is completely decked out. It's doing about 80 miles an hour, and it's uh, it's way too fast to take on the streets. Uh, I'm gonna grab my helmet. We're gonna take it out for a spin. Um, it's it's professionally upgraded with a whole bunch of parts that we sell here at MRP. We have all the parts from Melosi, Polini, uh, MRP Dr. Pulley sliders. It's got the 70 cc kit, the MRP exhaust. Uh, you name it, it's got it. So this is gonna show you what the TGB can do once you upgrade it. Let's go take a. look. If you're going to upgrade one of these bikes, use it in closed circuit racing only on a racetrack. Uh, also, you got to wear a helmet. This thing pops really. So we're going to take it out for a little spin. We're going to put it in the dyno. And uh, we're reporting here from beautiful Miami. This is a quick take of a TGB 50cc scooter at MRP. Let's take a look. You want to take a look, it gets past the 80. Um, it, the mid range is not that great, we can adjust that with the slider weights, but it's getting past the 80 miles an hour, the 50 miles an hour here, um, to pass 80 kilometers. So we gotta, we gotta get it on the dyno to find out really how fast it's going, because there's no way of knowing. The, the speedometer, the, the problem with this thing is the speedometer doesn't go high enough to know how fast it's going, so we gotta get it on the dyno. So let's put it up there on the dyno. All right, even we make mistakes when we're uh, tuning stuff. Uh, we grabbed this bike and we tried to test it out. It wasn't performing right in the mid-range. And we click, we quickly discovered it was the rollers, the 17 by 12s. We decided to upgrade them. Uh, we put in lower grams is what we needed. And the springs, it turns out that the Franco Marini works better with jog pillow springs. You can use the jog springs on these, um, something that we discovered as well. So after putting it in the dyno for a few minutes, we're going to fast forward through all this. The Franco Marini engine responds really well to the Dr. Pulley sliders, lower grams if you change the clutch, and use the jog pillow springs. Uh, that was our amazing discovery. And after a few adjustments, we put it back on the street and uh, we discovered it was working a lot better. It wasn't getting stuck because it had a very long delay in the mid-range. Now what did we use? We used the MRP Franco Marini. Uh, TGB exhaust. Uh, there's three different TGBs out there in the market that use different exhausts. Uh, we have one for each. You might need a little adjustment. Uh, TGB has had three importers in the US, so some of the older models like the 101 that are not currently imported use a totally different exhaust. We do have the R50X exhaust, uh, which is totally different from this one. So remember, you have a 303 exhaust that we have available, and we have the, the, the R50X. Now the air filter, you can see the MRP air filter on there, as well as the racing shock that we put on there. Uh, you need better shocks. Uh, the bike is higher now thanks to this uh, rear shock that we put on it and we sell those as well. You can order them from your dealer. We also put an electronic ignition system from um, uh, Melosi. That's why there's no lights on this bike. There's absolutely no electrical system. We bypassed all that and uh, that's why you don't see any lights on it. We put a Kevlar belt on it as well and the cylinder kit. MRP has several cylinder kits and several different price ranges for uh, TGB riders from the uh, MRP brand to the uh, Melosi, and we highly recommend the Melosi. Uh, that's what we're using on our race bike. You have to put the sliders inside the variator. We suggest you get uh, both. Um, get a racing variator and upgrade the sliders. Now we're gonna take it back on the street and we're gonna test it out one more time. Again, it's a sweet looking bike. We like it a lot. Uh, you know, it's not, this one's for off-road racing only, and um, you gotta use this under closed uh, circuit supervision, so be very careful. Let's go back to the street.
Well, once you get the tuning right, these bikes are fast. Uh, we really like the TGB. It's got the Franco Marini Suzuki designed engine. Uh, a lot of Suzuki's in Japan use them. A lot of uh, older bikes like the Dragster use them. And the MRP exhaust is going to do great on this baby because it is a two-stroke. You want to use one of our two-stroke pipes. You want to use some of our air filters on it. Uh, we have some great air filters for the TGB engines. Um, if you cut the plastics and you have a side air filter or uh, like a sort of snorkel, we got those. We got the Kevlar belts as well. Uh, we have a lot of different springs. Again, you can use the Franco Marini springs or you can use the jog springs on it. Uh, it turned out that for the way we tuned it, the jog springs worked the best. Also, we extended... We, we raised the bike by changing the rear shock using a Okio shock um, that we sell here at MRP. We also have this slider weights. You want to upgrade those 17 by 12 slider weights. You want to go down if you're going to be changing the clutch and the variator. We got the Dr. Pulley, the MRP, Polini, Melosi. We have a lot of different uh, variators that you can use. We love the Dr. Pulley. It was really good. Uh, you want to use the Melosi big board kit if you can afford it. Also, change your cables if you're going to be doing the upgrade on the carb. Uh, the main torque spring, we have several to choose from. Those are very, very important to change as well. Uh, you can upgrade the, ca the carb. We recommend a two-stroke, 21 or 19, uh, and the intake manifold, as well as the jetting. We have plenty of jets that you can pick and play with. You might have to re-jet it um, and stick those in there and find a way to uh, tune it properly. It takes time, but even we make mistakes and we found the right jetting. It was great. Keep in mind, tuning it is half the fun. Finding it yourself is half the fun. It is called tuning. Uh, there is no one way to do this. If you like rollers, use rollers. If you like Melosi, you can use Melosi. If you like Dr. Pulley, you can use Dr. Pulley. There's no 100% way of doing this. Everybody has a, a way that they like it. Some people want a lot of low end takeoff so they can pop a wheelie. Some people want more high end and they kill the low end. So work with your mechanic or if you are a mechanic, we have the, all the parts that you need. Uh, it's up to you how you tune it and that's half the fun and we found the TGB to be a lot of fun. We highly recommend this bike for racing. For more info visit mrp-speed.com